and then you know what they changed his name to after that? Seth Rollins. No. What's going on, everybody? It's King of Chaos, Logan Black here, and welcome to Pro Wrestling Explained to my wife. Hello, wife. Hello, husband. Today, we're going back to 1992 SummerSlam at Wembley Arena to watch Nails versus Virgil. I had a hard time mentally kind of putting this one together because I'm supposed to be showing you some of the, you know, best and worst of, you know, the wrestling past, but in all reality, there's, there's nothing good about this. It's bad plus bad, and it equals even worse. Well, gee, I can't wait to watch it. I'm really selling this one, aren't I? Well, Nails, he was a prisoner gimmick. Virgil was originally uh, a manservant, and now was kind of doing a boxer gimmick. Okay. Where he threw punches, but never really won matches. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to watch these two guys who were both never quite known for their in-ring expertise, but... The crowd was hot for it. We should check it out. All right. So, we've got Nails versus Virgil. There's a whole lot of uh, trivia that I got to roll with and squeeze it all in in five minutes for this for this match. But let's oh, go boy. with it. So, first things first. I assume that you recognize that the prisoner in the ring would be Nails. I assumed. Sure. So, he... Uh, Came in, did this prisoner heel gimmick, you know, your, your typical stereotype of, like, the evil prisoner just looking to kill and, and murder everybody. Uh, sure. <laughs> Virgil had been the manservant of the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, for many years. Gotcha. And uh, turned good guy. Okay. After a while, and this is kind of his run while doing that. I'm a good guy. Get some stripy pants. Yep. Got it. Listen, he, listen Terry he re recognized Terry Funk had a long career with stripy pants. I mean, I'm here for the stripy pants. Virgil, not so much of a long storied career. <laughs> I know you've seen him in indie shows. Yeah. So this is pretty much all that Nails is going to do is just choke Virgil. and who I mean, literally whoever he was in the ring with. Mm -hmm. it's like his only offense is choking people. Um, which is funny because... Uh, Nails was fired uh, after an incident with Vince McMahon. Uh, apparently, Nails had complained that his payoff, I believe from this show, or I could be wrong, uh, was too low. Mm. And Vince pretty much told him where to go. And Did you tell him the house was white? <laughs> He's not an indie promoter, dear. Oh, okay. Uh, but what he did do was uh, Nails decided to choke Vince McMahon, probably in the same exact way. And when people busted down the door, what they saw was that dude. What about that? I, I mean, like... You get a lot of practice. <laughs> I'm, like, in, in watching this, this is not a good wrestling match at all. These guys are like, there's no placement, there's no timing. Everything just looks really sloppy. Um, and this is the... Like, it's, in, it's in Wembley... Or is, it, is it Wembley? Yeah, I think it is Wembley Arena in, uh, in the UK, which is why you see so many foam fingers. It's the first and only time these people have been able to get the foam fingers, because... WWF didn't go uh, out to England very often. And they don't have foam fingers for football? I don't think so. I think they celebrate it differently, but who knows? Yeah. Not, not familiar with the customs. <laughs> um, so, trivia. Uh, I mentioned Virgil, whose his name is not Virgil. Like his actual name is not Virgil. I assumed. His name is Mike Jones. Okay. Uh, not the rapper Mike Jones. No. <laughs> who? Yeah, we don't care. No, I don't. Um, <laughs> um, but he was given the name Virgil. Do you know why? No. So at the time, or when he'd broken in, or broken into WWE, F, whatever, uh, the booker for WCW at the time was Dusty Rhodes. Hmm. Whose real name is... Virgil? Correct. Ah. So, naming him that was a, a jab, making... That dude, the manservant of Million Dollar Man, was the jab at uh, Dusty. People deny that, but, like, come on. I mean, it's a very uh, convoluted way to take a jab at someone. Oh, there's but, a, you know, there's but it's wrestling. So. There's a lot of that. So, so, Mr. Virgil went to WCW in the mid-90s with everybody else when Hogan went over. And you know what his name was there? 
Vincent. Oh. And then later on in the uh, late to the later nineties, they changed his name. Do you know what to? No. Another joke. Shane. Oh. And then you know what they changed his name to after that? Seth Rollins. No. <laughs> Curly Bill. Exactly. And the match is over. Via a choke. These people paid their hard-earned money to watch Nails choke Virgil for, I don't know, what, four minutes straight? Yeah. Still not the worst wrestling match I've seen. That's pretty sad to hear. Because this honestly ranks to me among some of the worst that I've ever witnessed. I mean, I'm not saying it's not down there. I'm just saying it's not the worst. You know, dear, the word five-star wrestling classic gets thrown around a bit often. Yeah. Uh, If you could give a star rating to this match, what would it be? One. One star? I think that's generous. Yeah. (laughs) I think that's pretty generous. Uh, There wasn't much of a match going on. It was literally one dude choking another dude, and then... One dude continuing to choke another dude, and then, uh, there was a sunset flip in there, but then we continued choking. I mean, at least there was some consistency. That's true. And I'll be honest, like, if I was, uh, playing a a convict or a prisoner gimmick, what what else am I gonna do? Am I gonna start in with, like, uh, you know, steamboat arm drags or hip tosses or, you know, start learning some interesting, like, lucha libre? No, I'm gonna just choke people because that's the gimmick. So I guess it makes sense, but, uh... Doesn't mean it's not boring. Certainly. So I'm assuming that yeah, you are officially closing the book on both Nails and Virgil? I I'm, I'm regret to inform you. Yes. Can we at least go back and watch Virgil uh, unable to pronounce the word Yokozuna? Sure. <laughs> he says Yakazuma. It's the funniest thing to me. I don't know why. Well, that'll be all for this episode of Pro Wrestling Explained. To my wife, you can check me out on all social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, at King of Chaos NYC. And you're already here on the YouTube account for the Year One Wrestling Podcast. If you listen to podcasts, you should already be subscribed. Check it out. Literally, it is everywhere that podcasts can be listened to. And check it out on social media at Year, the number one pod. And for you, dear? You can find me on Instagram, at Banana Lunch. Short, sweet, to the point. It's why I married you. Sure, sure, that's what it was. <laughs> for, the, for the missus and I, love yourselves, love each other, love pro wrestling.